Dave Grohl has a reputation for being the nicest guy in rock and roll, and his band Foo Fighters is filled with positive and wholesome energy. Let's take a look at some awesome Foo Fighters moments. Number one, Dave Grohl and his broken leg. During a 2015 show in Gothenburg, Sweden, Dave fell of the stage and broke his leg. He left temporarily and returned with a cast to finish the show. For the rest of the tour, he set upon a Game of Thrones-esque throne made out of guitars. He later even lent the throne to Axl Rose after he had broken his leg too. Grohl is perhaps the most dedicated musician out there. Number 2. Foo Fighters and the Rockin' 1000 In 2015, in the town of Sassana, Italy, 1,000 musicians gathered to play the Foo Fighters song, Learn to Fly, hoping to attract the band to come and play in their town. The Foo Fighters responded and later that year came to perform in Sassana. The band even invited some of the 1,000 musicians on stage, and Dave, who was still suffering from his broken leg, invited the organizer to sit on his throne. Their music really connects people all over the world. Please don't die. Listen. Number three, the perfect drummer. When the band was just starting out back in 1995, William Goldsmith was the drummer for the band. Here we can see Dave's perfectionism. After doing 13 hours worth of takes, Dave still wasn't satisfied with William's drumming. Then in 1997, Dave and the band re-recorded the album, but this time Dave was on the drums himself. And he didn't inform William about the overdub session. As a result, the inferior drummer felt the need to leave the band for good. This perfectionism is how the band manages to create such awesome music. Hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> I'm William. And we're in a band called the Foo Fighters. <laughs> Number 4. AIDS Denialism In the year 2000, Foo Fighters became involved with the Alive and Well AIDS Alternatives Foundation an organization promoting the idea that HIV does not lead to AIDS and that the pharmaceutical industry is fear-mongering AIDS, among other fringe views of the subject. The organization has been linked to preventable deaths and the spread of misinformation. Foo Fighters were involved in a promotional video for Alive and Well, where they shared some of their views on AIDS. I think that most people have been scared of AIDS. I think that most people have been sort of force-fed the idea of a death sentence. Are you afraid of AIDS? Am I afraid of AIDS? No. Because I'm here with Alive and Well. So are you afraid of AIDS, Taylor? This is, a, this is making me not so afraid, actually. In January 2000, Foo Fighters played at the Alive and Well Benefit concert in Hollywood to a sold-out crowd. Their involvement wasn't limited to videos alone. Back in the early 2000s, the official Foo Fighters website would greet you with a banner linking to the Alive and Well website. There was also a section on the website where they would spread more misinformation on AIDS, including a list of good reasons for good people to question AIDS. Number 5. Shane Hawkins Foo, Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins died in 2022 at the age of 50. Over 10 different substances were found in his body, including opioids and benzodiazepines. The rest of the band, of course, announced two tribute shows. The wholesome thing is that Shane Hawkins... Taylor's 17-year-old son would play the drums during the band's performance of the song My Hero.
Number 6. Dave in Jail All the way back in the year 2000, after playing a show in Australia, Dave Grohl rented a moped and drove around for a bit. Unfortunately, he had been enjoying a few beers too many, leading to his blood alcohol level being nearly twice as much as the allowed level. When stopped by a policeman, he didn't have any form of identification with him and was promptly hauled off to jail. Luckily, the Foo Fighters frontman took full responsibility by saying he didn't want people to think he was wrapping cars around trees. The incident still haunts him every time the band goes to Australia. Hopefully, the nicest guy in rock and roll won't be drink driving anymore. Yeah, that was a, that was a good time. <laughs> but, you know what, I was the only guy on that whole... Primal Scream were on that tour. None of those guys even got thrown in jail. Because they didn't... I got made they fun were of for the rest of the tour because I got popped on a scooter. <laughs> These were five awesome Foo Fighters moments. Rock on! Sujet sur les Foo Fighters, qui, je vous le rappelle, est le nouveau groupe de Dave Crawl, ancien batteur de Nirvana.